We've decided today to give you a lineup of uh, some of our latest technologies. Um, the, the Meetup 2 as an example, it's the latest addition to our, our, our bar family. Um, we, we're showing the uh, Rally Bar Huddle as well, which we launched late last year. Um, and then obviously our site here, that's our multi-stream camera in conjunction with our, um, our existing Rally Bars. Our site um, is, is our multi-stream camera, works in conjunction with our Rally Bar and Rally Bar Mini. Um, what, what the site does is it gives you a, a full frontal view of everybody sitting around the table. So, so true meeting equity. Um, that gets transmitted to people sitting remotely um, and, and that's, that's not actually physically attending inside the meeting space. So the significance about that is um, the fact that when you and I sit in a meeting space, we, we face each other and it's quite natural for you and I to look at each other while we're speaking. We don't look to the front of the room you know, to include people that's sitting on, on, on the far side and that's where site got born and, and that's the, the real application for, for site in that meeting space. What we are going to do with, with site and some of the innovations around it um, is daisy chaining capabilities where we're going to give you the, the ability to add a secondary site um, and, and go into larger spaces firstly. And secondly, um, we're doing smart switching as well at, at a software layer where we are going to do handoffs between the site, the multi-stream camera and the rally bar. So there's never going to be like a blind spot um, of, of that video view that gets transmitted to your, your far side uh, users. So it, it, it's obviously very applicable to, to our market. Um, video conferencing is extremely popular uh, in South Africa. Um, more, more so now that a lot of corporations are, are recalling some of their staff to, to, to come back into physical um, uh, real estate uh, spaces. Um, and, and how we present our, our solutions to them is obviously via our partner channel. Uh, we are 100% partner channel loyal. We do go in with our, our partners um, to, to try and seal deals, but we, we, uh, we operate 100% via our partners. AI is at the heart of everything Logitech does. Uh, you, you'll see it as a common theme all the way from uh, personal workspace solutions into our meeting rooms uh, solutions. We, uh, I just spoke about sight, um, the, the, the capabilities and, and the handoffs that takes place on, on the video views as an example, uh, that, that's all done via AI. Um, the, the same with Meetup 2, our latest um, bar that, that's getting released. We, we've taken our collab OS uh, with, with right sight and, and right um, uh, sense. Um, th that's also integrated, that's all AI capabilities um, and, and there's obviously security layers built into that as well, which is uh, proprietary to, 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 to Logitech. Logitech is probably the most focused on sustainability um, out of all the OEMs worldwide. Um, we, we pride ourselves in, in building a blueprint that we don't keep to ourselves, we actually share it in the market uh, and freely so. And you'll see our lineup of products in B2B, how focused it is on, on utilizing things like uh, post-consumer recycled plastics. Um, we've actually gone through the, the effort, not only with our latest releases, um, to, to, to make use of as much PCR plastics as possible, but we've gone and backwards re-engineered um, some of our existing solutions as well to, to incorporate uh, PCR. COVID was probably the, one of the biggest drivers uh, for, for some of the te technologies you see out in the market today, not only from Logitech. It, it was not only COVID, it, it's been coming for quite some time. Um, a lot of development has, has taken place even before COVID. Uh, I think um, Logitech was in a fortunate position um, when COVID did it, uh, th that we were able to offer some of the solutions that's been in the making for quite some time already. The focus Logitech has got today um, and some of the latest releases we've got, you you'll see on the services side, um, is very much focused around um, workspace management. Um, so, so, so we are gearing ourselves towards w whether that's going to be a hybrid workforce of the future or whether it's going to be full-time uh, segments of, of workers that's going to be either remotely or full-time in the office. Um, our offerings is focused on, on covering both those spaces. You'll see in the next couple of months uh, s some of the releases from Logitech that's going to take place, both at a hardware and a software uh, level. Um, th there's some very exciting and unique offerings that, that is going to come. If I had to cover one thing and, and talk about sustainability, I, I think that's probably one of the, the, the biggest focus points for, for Logitech in, in, in the future. And it unfortunately doesn't come cheap. Um, we, we've actually, like I said, gone through the effort of 
re-engineering some of our existing solutions, which comes at a massive cost. Um, so, so sustainability is obviously key focus for us in future, and then the utilization of AI in, in everything we do, uh, automated check-ins on some of our room solutions, enhancing some of the capabilities that's, that's, that's in there today, um, both hardware and, and software.